Hi, I'm Victor Martin. Today I'm going to install the OCI command line interface with you. So let's dig in. The first step probably is to go to the documentation and just uh, read through this quick start guide. Basically it's going to uh, help you to install it in different environments. In my case I have an Oracle Linux 8 so I'm going to copy the script and I'm going to go to my terminal. Here I'm going to paste this, I'm going to download it, and then it's going to start asking for some information. In general, all the paths by default are good, but feel free to change that. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with the executables in those folders, the scripts as well, that's fine. And now it's going to ask for some plugins. In my case, I don't need any extra plugin, so I'm going to continue. Um, this is a Python 3 application, so it's going to do all the pip uh, to install all the dependencies. So let's give it a work for a little bit. You can ex in install the same in Windows and, and Mac and other, uh, other operating systems, so feel free to choose the one that matches your platform. Uh, it's going to modify the path, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to modify the bash rc, that's something I'm interested in. And that means I have OCI, and I can test it with minus version. And that is going to uh, give me the version that I just installed, 2.13.0. That's good. Now it's time to install it, to configure it. So what I usually do is to follow the next steps here in setting up the config file. We are going to copy the OCI setup config. And that is going to, again, ask for some information. So in the first case, it's going to ask for the path where the configuration is going to uh, uh, live. So that's fine with me. And then it's going to ask for uh, OCIDs that are the Oracle Cloud identifiers. So let's get the, my user. I go to my Oracle account and I can go to profile and go to my user. But in this case, I'm going to use a specific user. So you can also go to the menu, scroll down and at the very end in identity, users, and going to pick a user called hand. That user is going to have an OCID that is here. I can copy directly from here. Come back to this, paste. Now it's going to ask for the tenancy OCID. That is the identifier for my tenancy, my account. We can do the same. Go here, tenancy, or you can go to the menu, identity, and then tenancy. We can copy this identifier paste it in the terminal, and then it's going to ask for a region. I'm going to use UK London 1, but you can select from the, the list that propose. And I'm going to say, yes, I want you to generate a new API signing or RSA keeper. Yes, and then I wanted to put it in that folder. That is the name, that's fine no passphrase, and that is all. I have generated all the information. You can uh, see that everything is there. The next step would be to put the public, uh, the public key that is here into my user. So Oracle Cloud can recognize that user as a valid one, so there could be communication. If not, you will have a 404, an unauthorized, and that would be the end result. So let's cut the content of that. Because I'm in Mac, I can do pb copy. That is going to, oh no, I can't. So the next step is going to be to uh, cut the content of the public key. That is my public key. I'm going to copy, just make sure you copy only the correct values, not any cost uh, character. Copy, and then we can come back to our user. Once again, identity, user, and I'm going to pick my user, and 
And here, if we scroll down, we are going to find API keys. On API keys, I can add a new public key. Because I have the content on my clipboard, I'm going to select paste public key. And then I'm going to add it. It's going to confirm that this is the fingerprint. I can double check that the fingerprint match the one I expect. F3, blah, blah, blah. So all good. And that means from this point, I can clear my screen and then say OCI. And I'm going to just use one command that I know is going to give me uh, some information from Oracle Cloud. So OCI object storage namespace get. And it's going to return a JSON file that contains the information I want. That will work for different things. So if I want to learn how to use OCI uh, CLI, you just write OCI and it will give you everything, all the services that are supported. As you can see, there is a lot of services. So the way to learn about the specific services that you want to explore is, for example, compute, a basic one. So I can do OCI compute and once again, intro. And in that case, we will have the commands that we can execute inside of that command. So for example, instance, OCI compute instance. Once again, intro, and we will see the next step. So you can explore what we can do, for example, list, get, detach, binic, etc., etc. So that is a nice way to install it and be able to, to talk to Oracle Cloud with the command line. Thank you and see you next time.